Uh, it's part one of the uh, ABS, called ABS project. Uh, I don't know if I showed you this before, but you can see it's quite a bit cleaner than when I got it. Um, not quite finished, I haven't you know, done like a very a, uh, a finished look to it yet or anything, but I uh, just wanted to comment on uh, cleaning and how I got it clean. This is pretty clean, this is almost like a reman clean. There's a few spots I gotta get, but uh, most of the surface is back to you know, the original aluminum. You know. I don't want to get too crazy with this because um, as far as like trying to get it like a I mean, I'm not even sure if I could polish it. I may coat it with something, you know, uh, because it is an old carburetor. Um, this is an original 1966 ABS. And uh, there's a spot right here. See? That's just some cleaning. It, it broke off. It's a little, like, break right here. Uh, so, yeah, I'm thinking, well, maybe I should take it easy on the old girl. Um, if I want to just comment on how I get this clean, it's a pretty easy method. Um, yeah, I've been cleaning carburetors a long time and uh, try different methods, gas, whatever. And uh, I wouldn't recommend gas. I mean, maybe if you got a yard outside or something, but it's, gas stinks. It just does. And it's, it's impossible to get rid of the smell. I mean, a lot of people like, you know, for years used to, you know, I even had a parts cleaner here at one time, but you know, it's, it's, it really does take forever to get rid of the smell of gas. So, um, I generally avoid using gasoline. I will use like brake cleaner and uh, or carb cleaner for yeah, you know, just for uh, and even that I only use on the, like the hard parts, like the small parts, like this. Um, see, like that, or to clean this. Because all these little parts. But I'll tell you what I did. Um, the first thing I did when I took everything apart and I took had these two pieces. Uh, the first thing I did with them was I didn't. Uh, didn't spray them with anything. I took them uh, inside, put them in a pot uh, with boiling water and uh, some vinegar. And uh, let that, with a little bit of soap, and let that soak for uh, about 20 minutes. <clears throat> and then uh, I let that cool off and uh, took it out and, and scrubbed off anything that was loose. I'll tell you, right there, half the battle was won. Because a lot of that stuff just comes right off. And, uh, and then I took it again and put it in hot water. Not boiling water, just hot water with soap. I let it soak again. And scrubbed it really good with a brush. And uh, then I let it soak, and then I rinsed it off. And uh, I took it out here and went through you know, the little small spots with, like, you know, uh, just a poke in here to make sure they're all clean. And then... Uh, Hit again with a light coat of like a very fine steel wool, and then I took it inside again and washed it out again. And uh, this time, just soap and water, no vinegar or nothing like that. And I just started wiping it down. And this is pretty close right here to what I got so far, and that's pretty clean, um, you know, for uh, just soap and water and a little vinegar. You know, what I'm saying the ports are clean. I do have to blow it out and make sure there's nothing in it. Um, but other than that, it came out pretty good. And the hard parts, what I do with those is, I don't know if I have it here. I don't know what I do with it. Somewhere there was a jar here. I, mean, I put all these small hard parts like this, like this, into a glass jar. And then I just spray in, like, uh, you know, brake clean. You know, until it's like that full, let it soak. And then uh, for a good while, a good, you know, six hours or something. Keep shaking it up, then drain it out, and you can hit it with soap and water. Uh, a little vinegar if you like. Now don't leave it too long, because some of this stuff is, is you know, steel. So you don't want it, you know, oxidizing too much, so, especially in the, in the water. So you just do it enough to, you know, not too long, you know, 10 minutes or so. And then uh, take it out, rinse it off really good, you know, get all, make sure you get all the soap off. Then you're gonna, what you're gonna have to do is take all these little parts if you want to reuse them, especially the um, the steel parts. But it's, if you got a, if you don't have a Dremel, I'm gonna have a Dremel with a little wire brush, so I hit them all with the wire brush. Except don't wire brush these; um, that would be a bad idea. But even the brass, if you have a brass brush, you can use a brass on brass. Or you could use a little steel wool if you're real careful, you know, to clean them up. Just so you get the ox you know, any oxidation that might form, especially on the, like I said, the steel parts. And if you look at like all these screws, right? Right here. 
or this right here, which is a lot of this is steel. And these were washed. As you can see right there. These are washed and there's no rust on them now. They're washed in soap and water. So you know, think you can wash some metal in soap and water something where it works quite well actually. Uh, especially some good detergent, you know. But really I think that's the best method because it's the cleanest method. Um, if you're like me, I don't have a sink out here, so I have to take it inside. So, what's your house smelling like gasoline? Like I said, to me, the, the, the worst, well, it's not the worst smell. The worst smell is actually uh, different, burnt differential lube. That's akin to mechanical diarrhea. But <laughs> um, the next word, some people love the smell of gas. I don't really care for the smell of gas. I mean, I love cars and I love working on them. I don't mind you know, messing with a gas line if I have to. And I've been gassed in the face twice, so maybe that's why I don't like it. I've been blinded twice by gasoline, and I just do not like the smell of it. It is it, a hard smell to get rid of. So, like I said, it's best to avoid using gasoline, I think. And there's better solvents anyway. I mean, brake clean works much better than gasoline. It's going to work anyhow. So, don't remember, like I said, you don't really don't need the hard solvents. Most of these parts came out beautiful. Um, like I said, you know, and uh, you can see, and you can see this, how this came out. Like I said, and I haven't even done the final finish. This is just the cleaning, you know, to get all the, the, the crap off. And it's it's close to factory new as far as, you know, it's cleanliness. So it's as easy as that. Like I said, you know, hot water, a little vinegar. If you guys want to know how much vinegar, if I could fill the pot, like this big, like maybe, you know, four quart pot or something, you only need like three, four ounces of vinegar, you know. It, it, you know, it's got a mild acid reaction, so it helps get the stuff off, and it, it does a good job in the inside of the small, you know, chambers in the carburetor, little ports and stuff to clean them out. I also, you know, another thing I've also found useful on these, believe it or not, is you have is the wire brushes found in uh, in firearm cleaning kits. They're great for cleaning out these tubes and these little holes and stuff. You know, so you can get all the soot out of them and stuff. But if you can do that, make sure you, you blow them out and wash it out afterwards to make sure you don't leave anything in there. You don't want any little pieces of uh, you know, copper or stainel, stainless steel or anything like that. You know. and as far as going in there with, with that, I would go stick with a copper brush. You know, don't be, you know, don't get too crazy with aluminum with stainless steel, obviously. Because it's, it's really only, I mean, I only use the stainless steel like this on the surface to clean it up. I don't generally try to get in the inside, but it, you know, because it's like I said, and it's not too good on brass either. It's the same thing with aluminum, so you got to be kind of easy with. But. Yeah, this is like I said, this is the cleaning. Um, my kit should be here in a couple of days, so I got to get this, you know, come up with. I still have to decide how I should finish this though. I'm thinking if I want to polish it, but I'm a little leery because of the age, or if maybe I should coat it with something, give it a nice, heavy paint job, you know, some. Uh, engine paint or something, you know. But, but this video was mainly, video was mainly about uh, you know, cleaning. And like I said, you know, get yourself a brush like that. This size is good, you know. And then a toothbrush. And then you'd be set and all that. A little Dawn, some vinegar, and you can go to town. Thanks for watching.